Hello and welcome to Amazon Web Services Data Management. We're going to be demonstrating the ability to set up compliance requirements, specifically with Cloud Lock. Now, I am Joe Holbrook, owner of Cloud Bursting Corp in Jacksonville, Florida. I've been a cloud consulting architect and technical trainer for basically 15 plus years mainly focused around cloud computing and data storage. I'm really looking forward to guiding you today through the setup of a compliant Glacier Archive feature known as Vault Lock. Now most enterprises today have compliance requirements. They're going to need to adhere to these uh, some of which are going to be such as SOX, PCI, ISO, etc. Companies using Amazon Web Services can meet these requirements by utilizing a solution such as Amazon Vault Lock. Many AWS customers already use an Amazon Glacier for their long-term storage can really benefit from Glacier's flexibility and low cost, along with the ease of use that they can essentially integrate Glacier to their existing backup and archive schema. Now, when you're using Glacier for compliance, you would essentially be creating a vault and thus populate that vault with your archives. And we're going to be talking more about that. Do note that when you're creating a vault, that a policy is going to be created for that vault. It will lock that archive vault down. Therefore, once it's locked, you're not going to be able to write or delete that vault uh, for whatever you said in the policy. So, if the predefined retention period was, let's say, 365 days, one year, then guess what? You try to delete that in six months, it will not work. It just will not uh, allow you to uh, override the policy. So please do be careful when you're archiving your data with Vault. It is more than possible to uh, to definitely get into trouble if you're not paying attention. So, uh, word to the wise, plan accordingly. So, with a AWS Vault, there is a basic workflow. The first thing you're going to want to do is log into AWS. You're going to go over to AWS Glacier. Then you're going to go ahead and create a new Lock Vault. So, let's go ahead and go to the console. Okay, I am now logged in to the AWS console. I'm going to go over to Glacier and as you can see I'm at the Glacier homepage. I am defaulted to the Northern Virginia region and if you did need to create uh, a Glacier lock uh, in another region then you would just essentially select that region and you want to do that before you create uh, that uh, that vault uh, lock before you do that so go to get started I am going to name this AWS class I'm going to say uh, Nova for Northern Virginia and then I'm going to go ahead and put in the date which is uh, March 25th, 2017. I'm going to click Next. Now, we don't have uh, the Amazon notification service set up, so we'll skip over that. We'll talk more about that in the upcoming lesson, though. We'll go ahead and select Submit. And we'll select the Vault. You can see that uh, it is uh, created. It's in Northern Virginia. This is the address locator that you'll want to make sure you have documented. And we're going to talk about the rest of this a little bit later. For today, I wanted to thank you for joining us. So to sum up what we just covered, we covered that AWS does support compliance through the feature called Vault Lock. The process of creating Cloud Lock is going to be done through Amazon Web Services Glacier. Thank you for joining. Again, this is Joe Holbrook, 
over and out. Thank you again. Have a great day.